up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're gonna be making today a 16 bean soup. 16 bean soup is just kind of a mixture of beans that they sell dried. We're gonna be using our pressure cooker and also adding a little bit of rice and some kale in it. Gonna make it absolutely delicious and full of nutrients. So let's get right to it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so every time we upload a new video you get notified for brand new healthy recipes. All right, so let's go over the ingredients that we're using for the soup. I have here the 16 bean mix and I just soaked these for about two or three hours. I'm gonna be using the pressure cooker so it should be, um, they should tenderize really well. Um, so this has got like 16 different types of legumes in it. Uh, they have some lima beans, which they opened up, which I thought was kind of crazy how they, um, they turned out after being soaked. But it's got 16 different types of beans in here. Um, and it comes in a bag, it's a two pound bag. I think it was like a dollar something at uh, Target. I'm using one cup of diced red tomato, about six cups, probably eight cups of kale, now nah, maybe six cups of kale, shredded. And this time, for the first time that I've done with a with a soup, I left the ribs in and I shredded it thinner because it's gonna be in the pressure cooker. I think that the ribs will tenderize and I'll be able to use, um, to get all those nutrients that are in the, in the ribs of the kale. I think also um, that the fact that, um, that there, there will be pressure cooked will make them um, really, really tender. So I have uh, my Thai chili mix, just Thai chilies ground up. One cup of diced red onion. One cup of medium grain white rice. And this rice is just really starchy, kind of like arboreal rice. So it'll make the soup uh, creamier and thicker. You could use brown rice, definitely, probably would be even better, but I had this left over, so I figured I would use it. I have some cumin, ground cumin. Extra virgin olive oil. My new smoky paprika chipotle seasoning mix. I have about a half cup of minced parsley. about eight cloves of freshly minced garlic. And I have here about eight cups of vegetable broth. And this vegetable broth is actually from all my leftover veggies that I cut the odds and ends and I um, cook it down until I get, you know, some stock that I can freeze or use for later for other ingredients. It's got all the vitamins and minerals from those leftover veggies. So um, if you guys throwing away your, your organic veggie pieces, Save them up and boil them and use that for your vegetable broth. You could even make teas and all kinds of stuff with it. Um, this, this broth is loaded with uh, all those vitamins that seeped off into the water. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our Kosori pressure cooker and we're going to start working on some aromatics with a saute function. All right, so now that we've got the saute function on the pressure cooker, I'm going to drop in about one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and this pressure cooker apparently sautés at 284 degrees Fahrenheit that's their preset setting so that's pretty good now we got the oil hot let's see seems to be still a little cool I'm gonna go ahead and drop the onion in just to infuse it. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, drop the garlic. And the aromas are already permeating the building. All right, now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice to get a nice toasting effect and also to infuse it with the olive oil and garlic and onion flavor.
get the rice. A little toasty. Now we're gonna add the tomato. And this is kind of gonna diffuse those sticky bits from the bottom with the moisture that it has. That's the actual saute function that is hot enough. But we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna go right to soup once we're done here sauteing. Now I'm gonna add in the kale. And all this kale is gonna break down, you know, to almost nothing. It's gonna reduce in size. It cooks. That's exactly what we want. Gonna add a little bit of our broth so we don't get anything stuck at the bottom too much. Now we're able to release all of those flavors at the bottom of the pot just by mixing them with the spatula. That's all gonna release into our soup. I'm gonna add in about one tablespoon. It's about a heaping tablespoon of chipotle seasoning. About one teaspoon of cumin. A half a teaspoon of cumin. A pinch of Thai chilies. Give it a good mix in here so everything blends together well before adding the rest of the ingredients. Oh, this smells already, wow. I love that chipotle seasoning. On Sunday, I'm going back, I'm gonna buy all their stock that they have left in that store. All right, so now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our beans. Okay. And then, we're gonna go ahead and add our broth in. All right, just about eight cups to be right above the line of the beans. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on and we're gonna hit the soup function on this. And let me tell you guys how much stuff cancel soup. All right, so the soup function on this rice cooker is 25 minutes. So it's gonna build up pressure and then the, the timer is gonna start for 25 minutes. We'll come back and see what these beans look like if they're broken down. With dry beans, sometimes you have to give them even more time than uh, 25 minutes. So actually, it's got a bean, ch a chili or beans section uh, setting. Let me try that better. I remember it having, no, that's only 11 minutes. I wanna go for the 25. I'm gonna go for a soup setting instead of the, of the beans or chili setting because it's only 11 minutes. And I don't think that dry beans, when you soak them only for a few hours, We'll be ready on this pressure cooker in 11 minutes. So for that reason, I'm going with um, with the soup setting. So 25 minutes, we'll come back and we'll see what they look like. All right guys, so I wanted to bring you in and show you how beautiful and chunky these beans came out. It's amazing. The rice makes them extra chunky along with the other ingredients that are in there. It smells phenomenal. So what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna serve this and give them a taste for you guys next.
actually before I serve, I had one more thing to do and that's to add the fresh parsley. I want to forget that. And this is going to add a nice freshness and aroma to the recipe. All right, so now we're pretty much ready to serve. All right, so I'm going to give this hearty soup a taste and it smells phenomenal. It's super chunky. It looks so good. Mm. Wow. Wow. It's so creamy and it has the taste of the of the chipotle, the smoky flavor. You can taste it right away. I'm getting this fresh cilantro. Mmm. The cumin has a nice smokiness factor. Got a little bit of kick. All the different beans make it kind of different textures and sizes. It's really cool. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This, this soup is loaded with protein and all kinds of nutrients. Super healthy. Tons of variety in the beans in here. Um, must be a million different kinds of vitamins and minerals from them. Mmm. Amazing soup.